The Financial Action Task Force FATF's travel rule is now compulsory in South Korea, but critics have decried the nation's lack of preparedness for the measure. Two crypto regulatory bodies, the Financial Information Unit FIU, and the Financial Services Commission FSC, have told crypto exchanges that they must abide by the rule, which forces so-called virtual asset service providers VASPs, to share and store information on sender and recipients of crypto. The travel rule was included in legislation that promulgated into law in March 2021, but VASPs were given a year-long grace period to implement it. However, media outlets such as Seoul Shine Moon and Hankook Ilbo reported, the FATF's rule implementation has been fraught with difficulties. Chief among these is the fact that the two platforms being used to share this data are not yet interoperable. In June last year, the big four crypto exchanges, the market leading up it, as well as Bithum, Coinone, and Corbett, signed a Memorandum of Understanding MOU, on joint travel rule cooperation in June last year. Just four weeks or so later, however, Upbeat walked away from the agreement and announced it would instead use a platform named Verify VASP, which was developed by its parent company Dunamu's Lambda 256 blockchain subsidiary. Bithum, Coinone, and Corbett, meanwhile, continued with the original Moan Co developed a compliance platform named Code. The work to link the two systems was planned to be completed before the March 25th deadline, but was delayed due to technical issues and differences in positions within the Indiana, 